Why am I doing this? Well, today I had the brilliant idea to bring the float tube down and drift about five kilometers of river from one of our upper pools that I just walked into carrying it to uh, our lowest spot where the boundary of where you can fish is. So uh, that is what I'm gonna do. It was big? Yeah, you know, it was like six pounds. Dad just had a silver one on. For sure. Funny, because look, look at that, that one I just did that one again. But yeah, definitely a storm down there. Huh. Definitely. Wow. Here goes nothing. This is a tiny $100 float tube that my dad literally bought because he can fit it on his bike. And uh, I'm about to go down a big river on it. I don't know who the f*** designed the seat on this float tube, but it literally, against neoprene, which is what a lot of waders are made out of, feels like it's butter. Oh my god, I just had a hit. I just had a hit on the quarter ounce pink and purple. I'm about to go into those rapids. The rapids are getting bigger and bigger the more I look at them. How about that? <laughs> this is a great idea. I mean, look at how fast. I don't know if you can see the bottom, but look at how fast it's going by me. Look at how fast the shore is going by me, and I'm not even in those big rapids anymore. That was a big bald eagle. I'm gonna give a little dangle under some of these tree boughs here. Well, no luck in this stretch, but now I have to make the final bit of floating down to the spot that I really wanna get to. In fact, most of the reason I'm doing this is to get to the island spot because in this high of water, no one else can get there. Definitely don't want to hit that thing. I'm on the last bit of rapids here until I get to my really good spot. I'm already at the head of the island. All right, well, no luck in the first few spots at the island, but I've got one more spot that is one of our best on the river and I have to go through one last pretty bad set of rapids. So here I go. It's very short, but they're definitely not great. Whoa. No, no, what? No! No! Oh my god! That was a coho. That was a silver coho. Fuck me. Oh my god, it's the end of the night. My hands are freezing. And I thought I had no chance left. And I just hooked what looked like a pretty big, bright silver coho. Oh my God. No, are you kidding me? Oh. I am, I am, I am speechless. Oh my God. I just was about to go back to my float tube. It's even darker now. It's like 15, 20 minutes later. I made a cast straight up into the pool and I think a fish took it on the fall. I'm sure he took it on the fall. And when I made my first twitch, I felt him shaking and then he was gone after a second or two. Oh my God. Well, a little bit of an update here. Oh shit. It is now almost pitch dark and I am still on the river 
because dad didn't meet me in the spot he was supposed to and I don't know how to get out on and find the trail on this side of the river. So I have to float all the way down to the boundary, walk up to the highway bridge in the pitch dark and walk over to where we are parked and hope he's there. This will be fun. Not only that, but I just bushwhacked for like a couple hundred meters trying to find the trail that he uh, was going to meet me on, but there's no trail that I could find. So I was just walking around the bushes in the pitch dark with a float tube. Oh, and another thing, I don't have a headlamp, so I don't get to use any light. It's always fun. Not only do I not get to use any light, but I'm pretty sure that there's a bunch of rapids in between me and the highway bridge. F*** me. I don't know what I should do here, actually. I don't know if this is a good idea. Even if I can get through the rapids, I get to walk like five, six kilometers. Maybe a little less than that, like three. To my dad, if he's still there. Okay. <sighs> Dry land, okay. That was not ideal. It was deep right beside the shore there and I had to climb up some roots and stuff and take my flippers off underwater in the dark, which was a little challenging, but... I think I'm gonna be fine here. I think I'm near a road, because I've been over uh, near here before. I think I might even be by a trail, but I'm not sure. I had to throw my float tube and all my gear up first. Okay. I'm in the forest, in the dark, carrying my float tube. Ow. And I hope there's a road nearby. I can see lights, but I don't know how to get to them. And it might all just be houses. <sighs> oh, yes, I found a road. Yes. I was about, I was just about to turn back too. <sighs> No way, what the hell is that? Man, that is unreal. I'm pretty sure this is a small chum, and it it followed in my three eight ounce jig about five minutes ago, and I and I thought, oh, like a two and a half three pound steel head just followed it in a little steel head jig, but this guy is I'm pretty sure what it was. That is so crazy. This tiny little what I think is a Jack Chum, but honestly, I don't, this is so weird.
That is unreal. That right there is my first... Wait a second, is that a coho? That's a coho. What the hell is that guy doing? He's waiting like chest deep. <laughs> Doubt it. Looks like it was super to me, which is not really worth anything. Well, we are at the river here in our second spot of the day. And uh, we definitely walked in a little bit to get here and we might be doing some more walking to get down to the convergence of two rivers, but uh, we're gonna give it a try here. It's been colonized by the lobster mushroom uh, fungus, which is the red stuff. Well, it is the next morning here. It is definitely pretty cold today. And uh, as much as we were planning on doing a little bit of a steelhead video this weekend, or at least going after it, uh, we actually got into some unexpected coho action yesterday. So the plan, I guess, is to lean into that and continue that today. So we are back at a different river from yesterday where we have had our best luck with coho. And uh, we only have a few hours today, as per usual. And we are gonna have a little bit of a try at our one big pool up here. Yeah, it looks a little browner than Friday to me. I just like any little bit of extra color we can get, I like. Like you, like I can probably find bottom. I just don't know when I have. I have yeah. no idea. Even with the three, you've, oh, I just had a hit. That was actually a hit. Yeah, for sure a hit. Yeah, hundred percent. Felt oddly small though. Like it felt like a little jack. One here. It feels good, Dad. It feels like it could be a pretty good one. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. It's a red one. Big red guy. Am I recording? Look at the camera. I don't think so. No? No. Look at it again. Look at it right now. Can you oh, see? Oh, yeah. Yeah, now it is. Okay, Definitely. well, I don't know how much of that was recorded. It might... Dad might have just messed up and not known that it was or wasn't, but it's recording now and we just landed this fish. Yes! Okay. Uh, now he's ready. I'm gonna get out of here. So I don't know how much of that was filmed. I think I filmed it pretty well <laughs> But I just landed this big red wild coho Just a <laughs> He's got a big colored up coho. A that face is, only a mother could love. That's about a 10 pounder. That, that's a big fish. He's not super long, but he is
Oh my God, that thing hammered it. Don't step on that camera right there. Don't step, that's a big fish. Feels big at least. Uh, are you kidding? He hammered it. Me? You got the net. He hammered it. <laughs> but that, that could be on your blooper reel. How did this feel harder of a hit than like half of the fish that I've caught? Blooper reel. Jesus Christ. Got one on the spinner. No, is he off? No! Ah! Oh, that was a pretty good one too. No. That is my first coho on the spinner of the whole year. And it was on that big Meps Aglia. Ah, oh, man. I wanted to see that fish. That might have been a silver one. It was really fighting like it was a fresh one. We have come to the end of today and the end of this video. This uh, couple days was supposed to be more of a steelhead mission, but it has definitely turned into a pretty good couple days of coho fishing. That that r big red one today was something. That was that was a good fish, and I wish I had seen at least that one on the spinner as well.